friends, it's Carly here for Ellen Hudson, and today I wanted to share eight ways I like to use my MISTI. Now, MISTI stands for Most Incredible Stamping Tool Invented, and I have to say, I really agree with that. I use my MISTI for pretty much every card making project. That hinge design lets you get consistent stamped results, and is also great for lots of other techniques. So let's talk about some of them. Now, the first one is stamping. <laughs> now, that's pretty obvious, right? <laughs> but it makes stamping so easy and has completely replaced all the other sizes of acrylic blocks I have in my craft room. I love that you get a second chance to ink up a stamp. It makes me a much better stamper and I save lots of cardstock because I used to throw out all of the images that didn't feel perfect. Okay, so now you can see I've got cardstock in my MISTI. When I figure out where I want my stamp to go, I just close the lid of the MISTI to pick up the stamp. And then with it perfectly in place, I can secure my cardstock with magnets. Now the MISTI comes with two circle magnets, but I have purchased the bar magnet and I find that works a lot better for me, but I think it's kind of like mascara. You kind of have to figure out what works best for you. <laughs> Once I've secured my cardstock, I can ink that image up and then I can stamp it down onto my cardstock. Now, typically I feel I have a few spots that are a little under stamped. So I ink up my stamp and stamp again. And that ability to restamp makes the MISTI my favorite tool in my craft room. So that brings me to a second way I like to use it, and that is making duplicate cards. So the stamp is already exactly where I want it to be, so it's easy to put in a fresh piece of cardstock and stamp again. This is great for holiday cards, but also anytime I'm gonna cope a color and image, I like to make a duplicate just because what if I choose the wrong color? Or make a big mistake, it happens. <laughs> and let's talk about cleaning really quick. So I find it easiest to keep my MISTI sparkling clean if I clean my MISTI lid every time I clean a stamp. So before I change out that stamp, I'm gonna clean my stamp with stamp cleaner and a microfiber cloth, and I'm gonna go ahead and clean that MISTI lid too. Now, a third way I like to use my MISTI is for a little rainbow stamping. So I ink part of the stamp with my first color, I stamp it down onto my cardstock, clean the stamp, and then repeat with the second color. Usually this is where you would do it in graduated like layers of color. So pink at the bottom, then a little bit of abandoned coral in the middle, and then orange on the back side. So you get this fun multicolored image and you didn't have to have a rainbow ink pad. Very fun. Now the fourth way I like to use my MISTI is repeat stamping. So I like to start with my cardstock in the corner and kind of position my stamp in the middle. I measure the stamp on the side of my MISTI there to see how much space I'm gonna need in between. And I love that the grid on the lid of my MISTI also helps me kind of like get the spacing, make sure everything's lined up straight. For this specific stamp, I'm moving my cardstock about an inch each time after. So I stamp, then I move my cardstock an inch, then I stamp again, and so on and so on. When I get all the way to the end of one side of my cardstock, I just move my cardstock back to the original position and then move it an inch in the opposite direction. So I love this look of repeat stamping. I think it makes really fun backgrounds. And with the MISTI, it's so easy to line up and space it properly. With an acrylic block, I would never <laughs> be able to get that kind of exact pattern. Now, fifth way I like to use my MISTI is for a faux watercolor technique. I ink the stamp with multiple colors of water reactive ink, so in this case I'm using Distress Ink. Then I mist it with water before stamping onto watercolor cardstock. I like to use my MISTI for this technique even though acrylic blocks work too, but with a MISTI I can add more ink or more water and make it look even more watercolory. <laughs> That's a word, right? <laughs> Now the sixth way I like to use my MISTI is for creating ink smooshed backgrounds. Again, this is a technique you could do with an acrylic block, but if you've got your MISTI out, why not? So you just put those water reactive inks directly onto your MISTI lid, mist with water, and close onto your cardstock, and you get this great background. Now another way to use your MISTI is for a little bit of shading. This is a fun technique on solid stamps. So I've already stamped once in the orange. So I'm gonna clean the stamp and then use a blending brush to add a little bit of pink to the edges of that stamp. Then I'm gonna stamp again and I'm gonna get a little bit of like shading around my little oval there. So it's a fun way to give my solid stamps dimension. And in the same idea as this technique, the last way I like to use my MISTI is to add kind of a textured effect on my solid stamps. So again, I'm gonna stamp in one color and then I'm gonna use a little scrap of plastic wrap or bubble wrap or really anything you have. You could use string, just get creative with the texture part and apply a second color to your stamp, then stamp it again. So I did in kind of a subtle shade of orange and coral here, but you could do it in some really bright colors and create a cool tie-dye effect. 
So thank you so much for watching. I hope that these um, techniques with the Misty inspire you to either break out your Misty or maybe get one if you don't have one. You can see more about all the supplies on the Ellen Hudson blog and in the description below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day and happy crafting.